Hello and welcome everyone to my continuing coverage of E3 2016. My name is Kid Lee, and let's talk about some Star Wars games. This is the final day of E3, things are wrapping up, and so I thought it was a good time to go ahead and sort of talk about and analyze a little bit about all of the Star Wars games that were actually shown at E3. And for those SOTOR people, no, no news from SOTOR at the show. It was briefly shown at the EA press event, but other than that, nothing really new. There was a roadmap that's been kind of put out now, along with a couple of other games. And some of you might have seen a preview or a pre-E3 video that I did talking about Star Wars, and that video was pretty much dead on. But the one game that they actually did show was the new Star Wars Battlefront X-Wing VR mission. And I've got it on screen here if you haven't seen it. Visually, it looks really, really good. I mean, if, you, if you've played the regular Star Wars Battlefront, you know that that game looked really good. And this looks just as good, if not better. Unfortunately, the issue with what we're seeing here is that it's a single mission. It's a single map. So it's not like a full, big, long game. It's only going to be this sort of one assault mission where it's the sort of the Rebels versus the Empire in space, X-Wings versus TIE Fighters with a pair of Star Destroyers, or a, a Star Destroyer and a, and a, a Rebel uh, uh, Corvette there. And that's pretty much all it's going to be. So a little bit disappointing on that, but again, it's going to be really fun to play it a couple of times if you decide to go and get that PlayStation VR. The next game that I want to talk about is probably the one that's the most interesting. And before I mention this game, let me briefly just talk about this roadmap. And the roadmap is that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to be released next year for 2017. And then the other game that I'm about to show is going to be your 2018 game. There was actually an interview with Jade Raymond, and she said, in addition to EA DICE, Several of the other Star Wars studios, they're all working on Star Wars Battlefront right now to try and get it done and out for next year. And then they're going to switch over and be working on this other game, which I'm going to show you right now. So this game was shown as part of the EA Press event, and we've got a, a concept art, and we've got a very brief in-game shot. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the concept art. So... From what I can tell by looking at this, it looks like it's on Tatooine. You've got the dual suns. On the left side, you've got an astromech. On the right side, you have a walker of some description, just sort of based on the head of it, the the leg there with the little gear wheel they have there. And you've got these, what I'm assuming are the bad guys who are closest to us. I'm not familiar with this design. I, I don't think I've ever seen that particular helmet design before. So it's very interesting. And then I'm assuming it's the good guys who are on the outside of this hangar looking in. The one on the right is the, the male who's holding a pistol. The one in the middle appears to be a female holding a pistol. And then the one sort of on the left side... Looks like an alien, a bigger guy. Looks like he might even be shirtless. And then he's got, like, straps or something. Uh, his image is really, really faded. It's really hard to see exactly who or what that is. And this sort of feeds into the second shot that they have. And this was actually in-game footage, and I'm just going to put it on, on loop here. So, again, Tatooine. This looks like a smuggler or roguish-type character that we're going to be playing. I think the shot we're seeing here, I'm guessing that this is not an actual gameplay shot. I'm guessing that it's a cutscene, but it is all in-game footage. So this is what the game is going to look like. I mean, it's going to be hard to say whether or not it's actually downgraded between now and then, but visually just looks very, very impressive. I would guess that it's probably on the Frostbite engine, same as Star Wars Battlefront. The level of detail is there. The sound is there, and you know everything from that game appears to be into this game. But exactly what is this going to be? Is this going to be sort of your your Coder 3 or Jedi Knight 3 or something along those lines? I don't know. It seems like this is not a Jedi character. You know, It could be one of those switcheroo things, like in Coder. 
on how your guy sort of starts out blind and you can actually do gun stuff and then you find out later you're actually a Jedi or whatever. That's possible. But I don't think it's going to go that way. I think it's going to be a different kind of Star Wars story with like a, a smuggler or a roguish type character. And I think that's probably what we're going to get here. But yeah, from this in-game shot, I don't know if there's too much more we can sort of analyze from this shot. The I will say the red banners in the background look a little different compared to what I'm used to seeing. And there's also a red banner up on the sort of house on that upper left side. But yeah, it looks standard Tatooine. It looks great. The movement looks great. Everything they've got in the background. You can see like the the cloth sort of flapping in the breeze a little bit. Just It all looks really, really nice. But those are really the two Star Wars game they sh games they showed. Again, it was the Star Wars Battlefront uh, X-Wing VR mission and then this one. And then sort of the final thing that I'll mention is they did a bunch of the developer shots. I mean, th this is kind of the videos that you guys have seen over and over and over. Well, there's like, there's like developers talking about their game and then they do shots of them like sitting at their computers and stuff. I went over those videos frame by frame to see if there was something I could potentially pick out of those videos. You know, looking at their computers, is there is there anything I could try and decipher? And you know what? They're they're so smart. They know what they're doing. They've got that stuff blurred out just enough to where you can't really quite tell what the heck is that they're that they're doing that they're working on. And they've they've got all those shots planned to a T. So I couldn't really decipher much from those computer shots other than it looks like every shot that I saw it looked like it was games they were working on that were sort of episode four ish or post so so very standard you know Empire and and Rebel Alliance type stuff and I didn't see anything that might have been from the Coter era or the New Republic stuff or Anything like that. So it looks like all pretty standard or, you know, the old school Star Wars stuff. But yeah, that's, uh, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. The Star Wars potential going forward looks really, really impressive. It's just really unfortunate that we're going to have to wait until probably at least 2018 before we get a new, true Star Wars game. But I definitely can't wait to play some of the new stuff. But yep, that will go ahead and do it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching. And with that being said, everybody keep playing and have fun.